Hey there, hey there, hey there. Oh my goodness, what an amazing day, what an amazing week. And I'm excited about next week as well. So I want you guys to come on in and join me. It's help meet time, help meet time. It's time where we come together, look at some of our tips and we make sure we are not only becoming suitable, but staying suitable. So thank you guys for joining me and letting other help meets know it's time for our sparkling juice. It's time for our tip. So this is Help Me Tips and Sips. I'm Yvette Benson, author of Help for the Help Meets book and workbook. Help for the Help Meet book and workbook is here. And today is a really great tip. I think they're all kind of great tips. I think it's important for us to sit back and evaluate ourselves, sit back and remind ourselves because it's one of those uh, roles that we have that are very, very important, but it is not easy. And it requires that we constantly, you know, seek God, remind ourselves, dust ourselves off when we mess up, pick ourselves back up and um, come together and unify. So that's why I love spending some time with you guys. So it's good to see you all. I hope all was well this week. I'm so excited about our one-on-one -on -one counseling. I can say we got so many new people joining our one-on-one -on -one counseling. Lots of new people joining our Help Me Army. So things are just uh, increasing and growing, which really just says so many women are ready to be help meets that are suitable. It isn't that we don't want to be suitable. A lot of times we don't know how to be suitable or we've never read about being suitable or being suitable has been a little bit tough, has been a little bit tough. So I'm so glad that so many of you are joining us in this journey because that's what it is. It's a long journey but it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. So yes, you tell me, I'm a help meet suitable and I'm sipping because today I'm a help meet suitable and I am sipping white grape. Mm, white grape and you notice I'm sipping out of my help meet tips and sips sparkling new glass. Uh, uh, Kim McClish hand painted this glass for me. She decided to make sure that she matched my journal cover. So I have some amazing mentees. One of them is on right now. Giovann is on. And Giovann made my other cups that I use. Kim McClish paints cups. So I am surrounded by creatives, surrounded by amazing mentees that have so many talents. It's just awesome. So I really, really appreciate them. They're both on Facebook. So if you like the glasses, you like the cups, you know, give them a shout out and see them on Facebook. They both sell these glasses, which are amazing. So yes, yeah, some of you are sipping water, somebody sipping tea. I'm sipping white grape sparkling juice. And if you follow me, you'll notice. Okay, ladies, what are you noticing? Help me. Are you noticing that my glass? Whoo! Well, some of the reason my glass is lower is because I already had some tips. But some of the reason my glass is lower is because I'm watching what I'm eating and I'm getting ready to get on an exercise program. And my amazing mentee, Lisa Ray Coles, I'm sure will pop on. And oh my goodness. She'll pop on and she'll let me know that I can't keep having all... Okay, so I said I would make it just a little, you know, because I want to make sure I'm able to have my sips and tips. So if she comes on, you guys let her know. I only have a little bit. Only had a little bit. All right. It's white grape. It's fruit. 100% juice. I mean, come on. All right. Thanks, ladies, for joining me. Okay, so you guys, I'm sure you want to know. You saw the title. Oh, you saw the title, Open Your Mouth. But when I wrote it, I thought, oh, Shannon, did you just tag Lisa Ray Coles? <laughs> All right, the title I opened up today, and it is on, we are on page 86. We are on page 86. Thank you. Page 86. 
And when I saw the title and I, and I saw what God wanted us to cover and I wrote in open your mouth instantly, hmm, I'll say, yeah, we got to open our mouth. But what's even more important is what comes out, what comes out. All right. So let's look at it. It's, a, it's very, very important that we look at it. So if you have your book, it's page 86 page 86 and that's what you jot down in your journal as well because you want to make sure you're going back to the book to just make sure you can take some notes make sure you highlight some information you reflect because this is a long and ongoing journey long and ongoing journey all right page 86 says God is a miracle working God you know what that's a sip right there God is a miracle working God God is a, mm -mm. we got, before we go on, just, just, we just need to remind ourselves because sometimes we think God is expecting us to do it, or we think we're supposed to carry this out, or we think it's just impossible. No, remind ourselves, God is a miracle working God. So that takes a sip right there on page 86. I don't even remember writing that, but it's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I read this book and go, hmm, I don't even remember writing that, but oh, that's important. All right. So it's, God is a mere, oh, Jesus. Y'all, y'all, y'all going to just, just put me out there like that? All right. God is a miracle working God and he wants his children saved, delivered, and set free. This is on page 86. Thanks for joining me. Mm-hmm. It also says the minute, like right there, the minute I asked God for help, I could feel his presence. The minute I asked God for help, I could feel his presence. When you are in a help meet role, there are times when there are some things that God is going to ask you to do. And let me tell you, in your natural uh, abilities, you're not going to be able to carry it out. I said it in your natural abilities all by yourself. You're just not going to be able to do it. Like forgiving 70 times 7, you got to get some help. Turning the other cheek, you got to get some help. Letting stuff slide when you want to, you got to get some help. God is a miracle working God and he wants his children saved. He wants his children set free and he wants his children delivered. Now let's just stop right there. Not only does he want his King saved, delivered, and set free, but he wants his help me saved, delivered, and set free. And some of the time when I was trying to carry out this help me role, I wasn't sounding, looking, or uh, acting very saved, delivered, or set free. <laughs> uh huh. Just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit in my really cute glass, but oh my goodness. He wants his daughter saved, delivered, and set free. He wants his sons. Saved, delivered, and set free. And some of this stuff in here will make you act like you're not saved and you don't get some help, okay? So he wants to give you some help because when he asks you to do something difficult, he wants to be able to help you get through it. He wants to be able to guide you. He wants to be able to be there with you, give you the strength. Sometimes we're, 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 we're upset because God wants us to do things, but we forget. He's a miracle working God and he wants to help us. He wants to help us. So the minute I ask God for help, like, Lord, you want me to ignore that behavior? I need some help. Thank you, Mary. I need some help. You, you want me to be quiet when he's talking? I, mm -hmm. I think I need some help. Oh, yeah. I think I need some help. But notice, I had to open my mouth. I had to open my mouth. Now. Hmm. There's some times when I'm opening my mouth and uh, the wrong things come out. So maybe I'll sip on that. Or maybe I should sip on less and less the wrong things come out. <laughs> Fewer times. Fewer times the bad things come out. So this says, when Gerald left and, 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 and left and went to another state, he will testify he could feel God's presence because God said, just open your mouth. I was in a place where I was like, are you kidding? 
open your mouth. Now, opening my mouth was not a problem when I had some things to say. But what God was really talking about was open your mouth and ask me for help to say what I want you to say, the way I want you to say it, and how I want you to say it. And when I want you to say it. Because mm-hmm. that when and how. Because sometimes I had it down. What he wanted me to say. But when and how. I don't know if you're with me. But I had to have some help. So God said if you open your mouth wide. I will fill it. This is the year of the mouth. This is the season of the mouth. This is the decade of the mouth. That means you've got to open your mouth wide and let God fill it. Psalm 81 and 10 says, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Help me. Some of us need to get out of Egypt. Mm. Might be a double. Mm-hmm. Psalm 81 and 10, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. That's the exciting part. When you ask God for some help, then you open your mouth right then and there, and he will fill it. When he fills your mouth, when he directs your words, then they come out differently. Then they come out seasoned with salt. Then they come out exactly the way he intends. Then they come out and and it helps the king. It helps your marriage. It helps the communication. It helps the situation. It helps your circumstance. It helps your marriage. It helps you prepare for marriage. Open your mouth wide, help me, and let God fill it. Sweet words, yes, come on, dripping with honey. But when I open my mouth and I don't let God fill it, oh, Lord, I better open my mouth to take a sip. Or open my mouth to say, Lord, I need some help. Because after that, after that, then I'm good. But if I open my mouth when I'm not thinking straight, if I open my mouth when I'm upset, help me, am I the only one? If I open my mouth when I'm frustrated, if I open my mouth and I'm bitter, If I open my mouth and he just hurt my feelings, if I open my mouth and he gave me, you know, said something I didn't like, then I don't stop and ask God for help. And now he can't feel it. He can't feel it. So page 86, we got to remember first, God is a miracle working God. He wants us saved, delivered, and set free, not only his king. But us too. Not only his king, but us too. The minute you ask for help, you can feel his presence. And then God said to me, Ephraim, open your mouth. Let me feel it. Open your mouth, Ephraim, and let me feel it. And when he filled me, even when, when, when we were separated, he filled me. You know what came out? Worship. You know what came out? I forgive. You know what else came out? I worship you. I love you. Heal me. Words that were filled with his presence. Words that filled my house with peace and not frustration. Words that filled my environment like it and prepared it for deliverance, not not bondage. I got to open my mouth wide and let God fill it according, according to Psalm 81. So according to Psalm 81, when we open our mouth wide, God's going to fill us. And we can say, Lord, I need help. Lord, season my words with salt. Lord, I want my words to drip with honey. Lord, I, wanna, I, I, wanna, I want to encourage my spouse. I want to say the right thing. I want to pray the right thing. I want to decree the right thing. I want to declare the right thing. I want to worship the right thing. Praise the right thing. I want to open my mouth wide. But I need you, God, to fill it. I need you, God, to fill it. So you can set the atmosphere. So you can heal my heart. So you can teach me how to speak to my king. All of those things are so important in the help me role. So page 86 in our book, it, tell us to, it tells us to open our mouths wide. But when we open our mouths wide, we got to watch what comes out. We got to watch how God can fill our mouths. 
if you're a help me, if you desire to be married, if you're already married, if you might, you might be separated or having some struggles in your marriage, all of us need to be able to learn how to open our mouth wide and let God fill it. So if you have your help me journal, make sure you write it in. I'm going to open my mouth wide, but I'm going to let God fill it. Then check periodically and reflect on how well you're doing. Reflect on how well you're doing because when you open your mouth wide and you let God fill it, then words of edification come out. Words of praise come out. The word of God comes out. But Lord Jesus, if you open your mouth wide and your heart is bitter and your heart is angry and uh, yes, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so now you got to just ask for some help. So Lord, we need some help because I need God to fill my mouth with his words. Yes, God, fill my mouth with your words. That's how we're led. That's how we become suitable. That's how God can lead us, can guide us, and cause us to share and, and, and change the atmosphere of our home. Cause us to speak and, and change the atmosphere of, of our situation. Cause us to say things and change literally the atmosphere of our children, our husband, uh, our future husband, all of that. Anytime we can let God fill our mouths with his word, his will, his desires, things are going to get better. Things are going to look up. So fill my mouth with your words, Lord. Yes. Fill my mouth with your words, Lord. That's your declaration because you got to open your mouth. This is the year of the mouth. So what do we check to be suitable? What's coming out? What's coming out? Because what's coming out, you will see. Mm, that's a whole different tip to sip. What's coming out of your mouth, you will see. So make sure that what's coming out of your mouth is something you want to see. Oh, that's another tip. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to have to carry, carry this over into another day. Because fill my mouth with your words, Lord. But man, oh man. Because what you say out of your mouth, you will see. So we got to check and, and double check on making sure that what comes out of my mouth is what we want to see. That'll be another tip for another time. But for right now, fill our mouth, Lord, with your words. Because Psalms 81 and 10 reminds us that he is the God. He is the God that has brought us out of Egypt. Brought us out. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. I will fill it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to write in your journal. If you don't have your journal or your book and workbook, we still have them here. So go ahead and go to GeraldAndYvette.com. Get your book, your workbook, your journal, and other things to make sure not only are you suitable, but you remain suitable and prepare to be suitable. I'm getting ready to do a whole campaign to make sure that single women, women who aren't married, are tapping into the Help Me um, teaching and the Help Me anointing because you want to be prepared to be a wife. The, the focus of the week that's coming up soon is, if I knew then what I know now, my whole life would be different. If I knew then what I knew, know now, I'm telling you, my whole marriage, my, my children would have seen something different. My life would be different. I'm telling you, I've got to get this message. Those of us who are help me, who are struggling with this role, who have had trouble in our marriage, I promise you, every single one of us would want would have wanted someone to teach us about being a help me before we were married. So we, you've got to help me get the word out. Those who desire to be married, we got to get them. Thank you. We got to get them tapped in. We got to get them tapped into this help me language, help me concept, help me mindset, and the help me role. So I'm getting ready to do a whole campaign to let, let unmarried people, let single people know, please. Tap into this teaching, tap into this learning, get the book, get the workbook, get the tap into the sips and tips. We want you to know 
And the Bible even talks about, you know, even older women imparting into younger women. And, and forget the age. This is um, news that I want people to know. Because I don't want people to have struggle in their marriage and then learn. I want people to be prepared. People are, are looking for husbands and, and, and women are worrying about that. You know what you worry about? Preparing to be a, a help me. Preparing to be a wife. Preparing, preparing, preparing. Yes, get the whole yes. Get all the information. So, GeraldAnnieVet.com. Yes. It's a posture. Being a helpmeet is a posture. Being a helpmeet is a role that God created us to be in when we were formed. So, let me tell you. What we don't know, what we didn't know, now we know and I wish I knew sooner. So, all right. Get ready. Yes, get ready. Get ready. Thank you, helpmeets, for joining me. I had... I had, I had some white grapes. I promise it was just a tiny bit today. I've been doing much better, but I had a tiny bit of red grape sparkling juice. I'm Yvette Benton of Gerald and Yvette Ministries. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to have some more tips because it looks like we need to talk about what's happening when we open our mouths as help meets. What's happening when we open our mouths? It should be that we open our mouths wide. And we let God fill it. I'm Yvette Benson and I'm a help meet suitable. And I'm decreeing and declaring you're a help meet suitable too. Good night.